Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the items that we have thrifted, the home decor, the antiques, the awesomeness that we have found in the last week. And we share with you what we paid for, what we're gonna sell it for, what we love about it, what we're gonna do in case it's like a little thrift flip. And it's just a fun night to hang out. So super excited to get started. If you wanna shop along, tell them where they can find our stuff. You can find it at jamierayvintage.com. If you find something you're like, wow, I have never seen that or I have been looking for that forever, I gotta have it. That's where you it's can find it. It's all listed already, so you don't have to comment or anything. You just go to the website and Ivy is on here tonight. Everybody say hi to Ivy. Hi, Kaylin Ivy. is out with her niece. My great niece is in town. Um, so we've got Ivy tonight and she will be dropping links, answering your questions, all the fun things. So we're super excited to get started here. I've got my beverage. Um, I do have to tell you, I've been up since 5 a.m. So it's been a long day. I feel like I've been up since 5 a.m. too. I never went back to bed. I actually got up and printed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're both a little slap happy. So that should be fun. Let's show them the junk. It's going to be amazing. I've got this fun. So we, we've got basically everything you need for your cottage dreams tonight cottage it's like romantic it's um antiques from europe like good stuff this is actually not from europe not an antique. antique from europe great wooden handle wrought iron and then it's got these two galvanized tins someone's painted them and then scratched them weird in the middle We're for distress i like it the way it is you like that yeah why are you, why are you dissing on me okay no i just I thought that would have been something you would have been like, yeah, no. I'm painting it. No, I don't like it when it's like the sponged on distress. Can I at least distress it a little more? I mean, somebody already bought it, I think. So it's really cool. It's, it's really cool, but he doesn't like the distress. I just uh, maybe just like a little bit more around the top yes, of sandpaper. Yes. I needs... think that'll be okay. That'd be right. All right. So this was a dollar fifty. Now that that's behind Sammy us. Lynn, you bought that. Do you mind if Zeb fixes the distressing a little bit? I just I need to put a little Why extra on it. This poison. I don't know. Don't be nosy. She says, please paint it. All please right. paint it. Sammy wants it painted. I'll do it for you. All right. It's $1.50. We're selling it for $22.95. She already got it. I'm going to paint it. I'll paint it tonight. I'll paint it tonight. Paint it with milk paint. Ooh, yes. I haven't done that in a while. You know, for like two more days, the uh, flower sack, flower sack is milk on paint. sale, 35% off. And we haven't really talked about it that much. So, Flower sack milk paint and snow white farmhouse finishes 35% off at jamierayvintage.com. No code needed. I Don't miss out. I have been buying all the oval frames I can find. You want to know why? <laughs> because they look so great with our rice paper in them. And uh, I don't even mean that as like a sales pitch. Like literally the last two oval frames you put rice paper in were amazing. Everybody commented on them. They wanted them. We've had several DMs on how they can get them. I'm like, listen, go to the thrift store, you know? Or January Vintage. <laughs> um, oh, also before I forget, the stencil brushes are 20% off. No code needed. We haven't really talked about that a lot either, so I don't want anybody to miss the sale and be like, you didn't tell me. We're, we're terrible at telling you guys about the stuff. We really I just want to hang out and chat. To say. All right, so this oval frame, <laughs> $1.50. We're selling it for $29.95. It will get a print. It will get a print. I think that one's going to be painted too. Maybe not. Oval frame sold. I'm going to stop I guessing on what will and won't be painted. No, well, because I, yes. That's it will like get people painted. trying to guess if you're card A and I'm card, or, and I'm card B. Like, just, you know, that was a fun game. But that was a fun game. A lot of people weren't right, just like I'm not right. <laughs> okay, so a couple of pieces of enamel. I love blue speckled enamel. We have an entire display at the shop. Um, this was a dollar. We're selling for um, $3.95. And then this is actually originally from Ikea. I have never seen this before. Yeah, I saw that and I'm like, I it flipped it over. Looks, I'm like, Ikea. I know. It's, I mean, it's obviously Ikea is Swedish, right? But this looks like your European enamel. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to see if they actually still carry them. I don't know. I paid two bucks. I'm selling for $12.95. It's really pretty. Let me put it right side up. It's a little chippy. It's blue and white. It's all the good things. I love blue and white. So I would say that this is an egg basket because it's got like a woven chicken wire mesh on there. Yep. But honestly, everything's a garden basket right now. Everything's a garden basket. I... <laughs> the, we've been given zucchini away. And... But it is also a skipping basket. You can fill this with oh. stuff and you can skip. Oh. I got my good cloppy flip flops on, you know. 
You just get your get your greens in oh, there. Goodness. You can go skipping through the garden. It's a really great basket for whatever you'd like to put in it. I, I actually like it better than our egg basket. I kind of want to swap out my egg basket. But... Tough, tough. Because <laughs> this one's for sale for $22.95. I don't know how much we pay for it. I don't know. It. The price tag's gone. I'm oh, going to no, guess. The price tag's underneath. Get, you guess, and I will look. I was going to guess $3. Um, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh. $2. <sighs> Two. It was a two dollar day. Cheaper than I thought. It was good. It was so good. All That's right. what we got it at the thrift store for. Um, just seeing if there's any questions. Oh, the IKEA enamel sold. So somebody else like that. Has yeah. anybody actually it's ever seen this? Really like, cool. IKEA? It's like know. vintage IKEA. IKEA has actually been around for like twenty years. It Has could it? technically be well, I don't know, I, maybe I longer. I would say it's like retro IKEA. All right, what are you doing, my friend? I wanted to see when IKEA. <laughs> came around <laughs> <laughs> all right okay we've these got are, these are getting painted they're not th great they're they're like marble or something but fake marble they're farble yeah they're like resin <laughs> Faux marble they're rarble resin marble uh yeah, anyway painted. they're gonna be cute <laughs> they're, they're, um, they've got a metal lip on them dollar gonna... fifty for the short one dollar fifty dollar fifty for the medium one Dollar fifty for the big one. Thirty nine ninety five. I can't promise what I'm going to paint them, but in my mind, I'm saying crockery with dark wax, so the dark wax goes in all the details. Someone else didn't like the stabby things to hold the candles on either. They have. They been already removed. took out the stabby things. I hate those. The last time I forgot. They hold to take the it candle out, so good though. The last time I forgot to take it out, I was spraying them and I just gouged myself. So you bad. did cut you. It well, you like, like slid your hand across the top of the little point and it cut you. I was a hot mess. Ikea has been around for at least 40 years. I knew someone could find it for me. Thank you. How did the tent barn sale end up? So we didn't sell any of the furniture. We, we sold painted. a lot of stuff out of the barn, but it was all like little, like tiny stuff. Like I didn't have to paint anything. I could have literally just shoved my junk out the front door of the barn and people would have bought it. So we were hoping to sell some of the big furniture yeah. stuff and get some more room and that didn't sell. So we're like, eh. I think, I think the reason why is because we didn't a we kind of like we promoted didn't. it last minute and b people were thinking it was more of going to be like a yard sale situation and some of it was and we had we had some yard sale pricing out there but also we had some stuff that we're like yeah we 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 paid x amount for it. we have to at least get this much for it yeah <laughs> but you know what we did good i would i need to look it up but i think in two days we sold about what, like $1,200 maybe? Yeah, Seven. and it was just sitting out there. We weren't out there. If we'd have been out there all day, we probably would have sold more, but yeah. we had a lot of stuff to do. So we just left the tent out there. And they just and went inside they to They went check inside out. and checked out. So with I'm Maria. happy about that. Like, And it did thin out some of the things. Um, and then next week, we're going to go through and organize it again. And I think in two weeks, we're going to do a barn sale again because there was actually stuff we didn't get to in the back of the barn that I really want to pull out. And then anything I painted, I'll just put it in the shop. Like we have room. I just need to remove, like move stuff around. I will put the stuff in the shop and it'll be good. And I'm glad that I finished all those projects because they will sell in the shop. It's just, it didn't sell in a day and a half, you know, that was good. So this is a beautifully turned little candlestick that's hand turned. It doesn't have any maker mark or anything on there. I'm struggling to determine what kind of wood this is. I want to say walnut. it's walnut um, because it can have like this marbling in it where it goes lighter and dark. Um, it's fairly common in walnut, but uh, I've not seen it quite this stark before, so I'm not 100%. Either way, it's very sturdy, weapon grade. It was $2 at the thrift store. We're selling it for $16.95. Not I got painting. a lot of cleaning to do on it. It's covered in wax. A lot of heat gunning, but I'm yeah. not painting it because we have been selling the hardwood candlesticks that are hand turned. Well, and it's just, it's awesome. Like well. the wood grain is so dark, but you can, I don't know if the camera will even pick it up. But I'm going to clean it for you. All right, let's see if we can get this to focus. Well, you can kind of, cool? you can kind of see the wood grain on there. It's weapon great. It is at weapon you. Grade. African walnut is what. I, Tan, I was I was gonna guess that too, but I was like, ah, I don't. I've not used African walnut ever. It's pretty pricey to get out here in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> so I just it's don't heavy. use it. <laughs> yeah. It's cool. That's probably why you said it was weapon great. Okay, next up, let's do the Christmas. 
Christmas stuff. Okay, so we have that that tree I think topper. already sold. Um, I love a good tree topper. This one looks vintage, even though it's not. And I will buy any sparkly star tree topper that they have. Like I love them. It's what I personally have a sparkly tree topper. So um this one is 19.95, but how much did we pay for it? Oh, um, I think it's like a buck or two. I can't remember. That was it's pretty gone. inexpensive. It's gone. Next up for the, the sparkle show. Um, it, this is a stocking it's holder. Glitter, glitter tastic. It's glitter tastic. I love glitter, and this is like the big fat glitter. It's good. Um, cast iron base, sprayed silver. Um, it was a dollar, and we're selling it for fourteen ninety five. Next up in this in the Christmas offering, we have this really cool Santa. I love this face. It's kind of vintage looking, and I love this um, candle holder because it's got like gold leaf on it. You guys, Christmas sounds like it's fuzzy. a long way away, but we're like four months. I out. just got my Christmas tree delivered from King of Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we're four months out from Christmas. The kids are going to back to school in like nine days. Yeah. <laughs> like they're back to school and my Not sister's kids down. start school on Tuesday. I'm like, what is even happening? Where did the summer go? It Somebody is said gone. We're fuzzy. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So this one was two dollars and we're selling for $16.95. And I think the other, only other Christmas thing that we have is um, those ornaments. And then I found this cute oh. little Christmas house. The ornaments which is are... like a little wreath, this little church. Let me see it if was I can get them out. And I'm selling it for six ninety five. Originally, it was made by Burton and Burton, Carla Grogan. But I'm thinking the way that they did this was they cut it out. And this looks like it's probably just hot glue. Yeah, it is. Like they just hot glued it and then they It kind of looks the like frosting glue. and ice a little bit. Yeah, I was like, that's brilliant. Yeah, I like it. I want to kind of make some more. All right, so these are mm -hmm. holly glass ornaments. When they were originally sold, they were 99 cents. Oh, I said that the camera keeps trying to focus. Oh, let me see if I can make it focus. He's going to he's gonna mess around with it. Sorry I'm going to focus it on Jamie's face and it'll hold there for a good long while. How's that? Let me see. Okay. So ornaments. It's still like blurry. Oh, well, come back. Give it a second. That's a delay. All oh, right. It's better. So, so glass ornaments, they do have like a couple little scratches and dings. They're very old, but they're all here. They're all alive. Um, and we are selling them for nine ninety five. Those are cool. Because they're right. the good old vintage. They said it's better. All vintage. right. Next up, I have this really cool pot. I love the scrolly detail. I like the age of it. Um, I do need to get the foam out of it. It was $2 and I'm going to sell it for $16.95. I love anything like this. So a lot of times I paint them, but I've been doing well at leaving some things like this natural. So we've had a run of these from the Saratoga Springs thrift store. There've been like a couple of little pedestals, but they've all had the same style with like the cement look over the terracotta. They have the squirrely feet. I yeah, swear that I haven't not, had the feet. Not quite that same, but they're like same style. We've had like three different pieces, three different weeks that we found that are almost identical to this look. The other ones were like pedestal for like candles or something. Mary says, got my craft kit and I love it. When does the fresh sale end? I don't know if she the means The brush that. sale? The brush sale, the brush sale is till next Wednesday. Yeah, the milk paint sale ends at the end of the month. And then the brushes are next Wednesday. Yeah. Did you tell price and everything on this? Um, I, Yes, I did. Okay. We, we can do in the next up pot. This one is like a white glazed <laughs> pot. Again, the coloring on it is really good. So I'm not painting it. It was two dollars, and I think I'm selling it for sixteen ninety five. It's got a ton of detail on it. It's like it's like it's got IOD molds on yeah, it. Yeah, the but mold it on it is really good, and I love the handles. Someone was very careful when they made that yeah. because it's hard to get molded detail on pots and things unless it's oh, it might have been cast. It looks like it might have been slip cast. What is slip cast? Maybe. It's a process that you it's a process. cast porcelain and clay like, products. I don't know what that is. Yeah, sixteen ninety five. Good. I was like, I thought that that's how much I priced it, but it's the today is like a blur. Like Zeb was canning. Uh, you were gone getting beets. Eliza. From... I well, I was sitting there on that chair pricing everything while you were busy canning beets. And it's funny because I shared a picture of it, and people kept they're like, Jamie, what's your recipe? I'm like, Zeb did the canning. I was doing the computer work. And we can camera. talk about it, but I'm not going to give you my recipe. You have to wait and watch the video. I was really trying to get it out today and it just did not happen. So it'll probably be Monday. Yeah, Next week, there'll be two videos. That'll be on the Jamie and Zeb channel. Um, 
so watch out for that. I'll get I'll try to get it up early Monday because I also I'll I'll show here show them that I'll show you one thing I did do. He's really excited about it. Okay. Well, um, this is I new. I did those mustard candlesticks last week, and so I decided to I want to do like a little mustard and navy display. So I'm gonna leave this the way that it is. It's mustard and it's got like this aged rusted look, and this is like shiny. Where this is more like terracotta. It was two dollars, and I'm selling it for eighteen ninety five. And then Zeb, you can Zeb can show you his fermentation process. And I'm going to pull out something else that's mustard. That this I'm is Le Petit Petit Fermenter. Uh, anyway, we sell these also at the shop. The fermentation kit. Oh, it's already off gassing. It told it said it would, um, but that's why. Anyway, it, it holds everything down. I am experimenting with a new mix of stuff I wouldn't normally do. I'm going to call it my breakfast mix, and that's all I'm going to say. You'll have to watch the video to see what all is in here. But that's a little canning machine. Fermentation, I did a couple of these today that are going. They're going to go for a couple days, and then we'll move them to the fridge. And then also I did some canning. Um, if you follow us on the socials, particularly Instagram, you probably would have guessed what we're, we canned. But... Um, that video will be out and I'll show you my process. I did change it a little bit because I use stuff that's good for my diet, like no sugars, uh, no gluten. So if you're oh, interested. Commercial break for Jamie and Zeb on Facebook and YouTube. All right, next up, this was um, $1.50. We're selling for $18.95 and I'm adding it to my mustard collection for fall. So I will pair this with some of the Navy. I want a lot of the Navy items sold. So I'm going to have to pay more things in Hay Sailor oh. this week. I see um, what you're doing there. I'm making a collection. I totally would have painted that, but since we're coming in the fall, it looks like, so good with the navy. Like, put it next to that picture there. So the color, the color scheme that we're going to be doing. This is like our fall theme for colors here. These Some people items. asked on Waste Not Wednesday, or think it was. What or, colors we're using for fall? Yeah, and, I'm using mustard and navy. So you're going to see a lot of. If I find good mustard items, I'll leave them, and then I'm going to be bringing in like cobalt and navy. And then put them together. What do you guys think? I think it's I think it's pretty good. So well, anyways, blue and yellow always go well together, but are, it's like a mustardy and a. The if they don't blue. sell this fall, I can paint them up for spring next year. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Doom and doom and apothecary, they'll go. <laughs> All right. Well, since I just showed this, let's show this uh, picture. This okay. was actually really popular. I loved it because it has this really cool bird on it, and I like the shape of it. It was three dollars, and I'm selling for twenty six ninety five. So this little basket here was at the thrift store a long time ago because it's got a DI sticker that I haven't seen since like probably the 90s. Maybe sooner, maybe not that old, but I'm guessing it's probably 15 to 20 years old. Um, and then it's got a new DI sticker. So someone thrifted it again and never bothered to take the sticker off of it the first time. And it was $2 back then. And it's two dollars now, and we're selling it for twenty two ninety five. I like all the it's, like scrolly details. It's great for like if you got little planters. Like, look at this. Oh, you could put some um, core in it. What's that called? Is that like? Oh, it is like the planter material. What? These are just little topiaries. Like, Those are not you the need right a thing. bigger plant for yeah. this, but with the green, you can you work no, with me cute. here. It's cute. It's cute. Um, Jen says you're aging yourself. Me? You need to add a rust color. I am gonna be forty-two years old. He's in his this 40s. fall slash winter. Like, What's I'm, it? how are you aging yourself? I don't know. Long? Maybe because I said I haven't seen him since the nineties. Maybe. <laughs> All right, cute little clock. I shopped at the we thrift store with my mom in the nineties a lot. <laughs> I might put an IOD transfer in the middle if I can find one that fits, and then we're gonna paint it up. It was. Two dollars, and then once we paint it and give it a makeover, it'll be twenty nine ninety five. I like the, the little. Oh, feet. that one's that one's the back comes out of those so easy. It's so quick and fun. Yeah, I was thinking like if we can find like something ovalish that we can put in the middle. Yeah, it works really well. Maybe like a like a uh, crockery um, transfer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that would be. Since good. we're talking about these little planted topiaries. They were a dollar each, and they're going to be. Oh, what's that price? Nine ninety five each. Oh, they're going to be nine ninety five each. They were a dollar at the thrift store. I love any kind of topiaries. I will buy them big. I will buy them small. I will buy them tall. I will buy them wide. I love topiaries. So some people, every week we get the comment, "How come you're telling the price? That's ridiculous. Why are you doing that? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard." Think of it like flea market flip. Like it's like a kind of like a little challenge for us every week. 
Oh, Grambo moved to Minnesota this week. Oh, wow. That's a big move. Or somebody says, I thought it was Montana. It was something that started with an M. The debate's still out. All right. If you guys don't know who Grambo is, Grambo is one of our friends who's on here and comments and chats a lot. So if you, I know we have a ton of new people because we've had some videos that have really gotten reach. And so I'm like, I don't want to just assume everybody knows who Grambo is. That's who she is. What are you showing next? That's gone. Uh, that was like the first thing to sell. This is my first thing to sell. This is actually from our first trip to England mm -hmm. over a year ago. I took um, it all apart. We to took get it all apart. It's, it's got that like good English rust. It's bronze, if I am correct. I I brass is like not as heavy, and I I think this is maybe overcast iron. I don't know. No, the it's whole so thing's cast. And it's got like these really cool fish. Can you guys see the fish on it? And it is an ashtray, all right? I know not a lot of people smoke anymore, but it is an ashtray. I think it'd be cool to polish it up and put candy in it. It's just really detailed, really heavy. Um, I don't recall what I paid for it. Maybe like five pounds. It, I bought it at a boot sale. I know I didn't spend a whole ton on it. And then we hauled it back from Europe. Um, and it was thirty nine ninety five, and we found it when we cleaned our garage. Yeah, <laughs> it's I just sitting like, out there. I'm like, oh, we can still have all the pieces for that. Look at that. Oh, uh, it's. I'm glad we found it because okay, this it. is a great little tote. It's tiny. I love it. I don't even know what I would put in it, but I'm sure I could find something. I've always got nuts, bolts, screws, tiny. Little... I think it's cute with little mini pots with flowers in it, like mm. the kind they sell at IKEA. It has like those little mini really ones, cool. the succulents and stuff. Those little knobs. I think it would be fun with like knobs all filled up. Or like um, doorknobs. Yeah. Like I'm wondering if it used to be ones. for scouting because there's a fleur de lis on the end. Yeah, I like see it's it. Like a scouting. I kit. saw that just now. I know. Maybe. Super cute. Oh, it's so you can put your Pinewood Derby card. Um. So somebody asked what my favorite dark wax was. I just like dark wax. Um. If I'm doing white, like a bright white, I actually like black wax, like DIY black wax. We sell both of them on our website. But if I'm doing like a, a warm color. I've, I've been using a lot more. For a long time, I only or used black really, wax. It really and makes now like I blues use dark wax. real moody. Yeah. Why is. Like, who's pulling in front of my house right now? I don't know. Okay. Next up, we have this rosette on a stick. It was a oh, dollar, and on. Zeb sold it. Time out. What? This was a dollar, and we're selling it for $19.95. That's going to get painted. This is also going to get painted, <laughs> and it's $19.95. Zeb wants to mold this, so hopefully we'll get it molded before I, I paint do. it. I do. I do want to mold it. How cute that is. I think it would be really fun for, like, in the corners of dressers and totes and stuff like that. It would actually be fun to make a mold of this. <laughs> you, you're going to hate this. And pour resin in it and then use it for, like, your, like could you pour 200 of these for a craft kit? And we can Whoa. Time out. <laughs> Sorry, if you have your earbuds in, I'm gonna tell you to pull them out. Sorry about that. I shouldn't have laughed that loud. I knew you were gonna say that. That is a lot of resin <laughs> pouring. Okay, not coming to a craft can near you, but we might make a mold of this and pour some out and then just sell them on the website. These are really cool. That's the plan. That's why I got it. All right, these are McCoy. And so I found the pot. Oh, actually, I can't and these remember. both already sold. And the pitcher was actually in someone else's cart. And I'm like walking by and walking by. There's no one by this cart forever. So I finally was like, I asked one of the employees, I'm like, is that cart? Is that anybody's that you know? And they're like, we haven't seen anyone move that cart in like an hour. I'm like, we haven't even been open an hour. They're like, yeah, well, I don't know whose that is. And so I waited and I waited and I waited to see if anyone would come, like claim this cart. And finally, one of the employees just walked over. She's like, do you want this one? So like, like we're gonna have to put all the stuff away that's yeah she's cart. basically like i gotta I, i'm about to restock that whole cart so i snagged it um uh, they were both this was a dollar fifty this was two dollars they're gonna be 16.95 where are going those people must be here to pick her up yep they are here to pick her up i have no idea who that is but okay i don't either she's she, almost has, an adult. she has many friends that i don't know she you knows she she went all the way to Tennessee with your mom. Thomas, without... those were already painted last week, so your ceiling tiles. Um, please not mustard. I'm not painting them mustard. <laughs> that one just is mustard. Um, I painted them Americana, which is like a blue-green color with a white dry brush, and they're done. So if you watch the video from Friday, which is our barn clean-out video, you will see your ceiling tins. They are finished and uh, getting ready to ship out. All right, let's go through this pile. So this, except for this, all from the garage. All from the I garage. think some of it came from my sister, Deborah, but I'm not positive. 
And I don't know where this came from. I think these and that may be Deborah. So this and these is... two trays somebody else gave to us. We've just like never done anything with them. I was like, let's clean it out. This plate is like a happy birthday. Probably be great for like a one-year-old's birthday party, like a first birthday or a, a small child. Um, it's then, Edwardian Childhood by Spode, made in England. And we are selling it for $16.95. I'm going to bring it close. I'm going to try to make not make the camera blurry. What, is yeah. what are we going to paint the clock? I don't know what I'm going to paint the clock. And if I tell you something, I can't promise that I'm going to remember that by next week. But look how fun that is. <laughs> like if you had a kid, a small kid that was like probably under three, I'd say. This it's would be so really cute. fun. I love that. To bring them like their portion of the cake on this. Patricia says Spode. Yeah, it's very much like collectible china. A lot of people buy it for like mementos or to give to people for things. Um, and that one already sold. So, all right. Yeah, on the clock, I have no idea how I'm going to paint. Sometimes I say that I'm going to paint something some way on Saturday night. Like I, I have an idea. And then by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't remember. And I just paint however I'm feeling. All right, so these are season's greetings from, I don't know, is More that? Christmas. Shenango. Shenango. 1961. Yeah, this one is uh, Christmas Marley, Carol. Marley's Ghost. Then we have uh, Merry Christmas Bob. This is Here Comes the Plum Pudding. I just like the color on them because they're really good kind of cottagey colors. They're not like overtly, obnoxiously like seasonal decor. I don't know how to explain it. I love decor that from Scrooge. matches my color scheme. And then this one is Corn Hill Slide. They have a 61 and then a number like the edition they were or the number in the run. This was oh, 74. Yeah. This says 13. This says C7. I don't know. There's a white and pink picture. Yes, that one sold. All right. Just see if there's any... Uh, Serving tray. Distressed Ireland says, I love buying the Christmas stuff. It's my favorite. Yeah. These are heavy, too. These are like, I don't want to say they're ironstone, but they're definitely not china. They're like stoneware plates. So I can't read the maker on this. It's got like an I and then. International or something? Yeah, maybe. But it's made in the USA. It's just, it's a stamped serving tray. Um, it was in the garage also. I think this was actually given to us as a back porch offering during COVID when we weren't. Doing any contact? Somebody brought it to the house, but that one is 1995. It's just stainless steel, a really good little tray. Let me see if I can. Can you make that, that out on the bottom? It's like missing the first little few numbers. Something where, ginware. Something where I don't know. It's cool. It's like a nice tray, and it's um, stainless steel, so it won't tarnish. That's not very pretty. It needs a paint job. It does need a paint it job. It came from Southern Living Home. But the design on the on the uh, inset the here is, is awesome. And I think I've actually painted this exact tray before. It's almost like a ceiling tin style. Yeah, it's like embossed or whatever. And it'll be $39.95 once we paint it and then kind of bring back some. I love dark base coats because they look so good when they're distressed. Okay. We're running out of places to stack stuff. I know. This isn't even as big. Last week's haul was like so big. Look, well, I'm going to let well, you talk and we're about tired. your mugs. We're tired. Yeah. So these are my Reese's mugs. I don't I don't eat candy, candy very often. But before, when I did eat lots of candy, before you like my, Reese's peanut butter my Hashimoto's diagnosis, I would only pretty much ever get Reese's peanut butter cups. I love eating them with milk. Now, these mugs are two different styles. There's two like this. They've got a different handle and orange around the lip. And then I thought that they would be fun like gifts. Like you could fill them with someone likes Reese's. You could fill them with stuff or a gift card or whatever, little balloon hanging off of it. Um, I thought that they would be fun for that. That was my idea with them. And they're $6.95. Um, they were a dollar each. They're going to be $6.95. These ones are a little different. The handle's a different shape. Um, and then they're white around the lip. But anyway, I couldn't leave them at the thrift store. I'm just reading all the, the comments. I'm going to so zoom good. down and show them this. You're going to show them what? Your mountain of dishware that you got under oh, the okay. collectibles That's going to bring you in close. So I paid $50 for all of these pieces. And they're actually like, well, we're actually not this one. They're like four different sets, even though they work well together. Some of it's Bavarian. I'm gonna pull the blue tapes off of those. Yeah, I will in a minute. It's not. It's not showing well on camera. <laughs> I just said when you showed stuff, like show it up close. So 
this, I'll do it by like what they are. So this is a Bavarian covered dish. It's $29.95. Very delicate gold on here. All these are in really good condition. Is like no still giant. Working? It just did something weird. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay. No giant chips or anything. This one is really beautiful. This is the only one in this particular pattern. And then I also have this pattern here. These plates are Edwin Knowles China Company. It's Vitrus China. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but it has a really delicate edge on there. Those are $7.95 each. So that you, when you're when you're looking for these, they're all kind of different pricing. Oh, there you go. You can see that pretty good. And then next up, we have these dishes. These are Austrian. So these are from Austria. Show you can show the pattern on that. This is probably what we have the most of. Yes. Um, no, we have a ton of these Limoges bowls, these French bowls. So the, this set runs $22.95 for this covered dish, all the way down to like. What's the least expensive item? $5.95 for this delicate little bowl. The pattern is really pretty. And we, um, I thought that I was getting too much china, but then I sold all that red and white stuff. We sold almost all of it in the shop. Like people are coming in to buy the china. And so I do not sell whole sets. I sell pieces because it makes it a little bit more manageable. Like I've got two teeth. Some, pe some people just come in and they just want like a really pretty bowl and they can get this bowl for like $6.95 which how cute that is. Can't even go get like to Walmart and get a piece of glass, or like a glass bowl for $6.95. And these are way better. All right, next up, this is probably one of my second favorite pieces. This is a butter dish. Look how pretty that is. This is Haviland, France, the Beatrice made expressly for Chas Emerson and Sons, Haverhill, Massachusetts. That Limoges is a really popular French china. Um, and so we've got the butter dish. This is a really How much odd is set. The butter dish is twenty nine ninety five. Is that right? Yeah. And I love it. Like I love butter dishes. I like that it's round. It has a ruffled edge. I don't know if you can see it, but even the little handle is just delicate and pretty. It's in pretty good condition. And they even stamped the inside of the butter dish and the bottom of it. It's good stuff. And then there's a saucer, just one saucer. A couple little plates. These are $6.95 each for the plates. Look how cute that scalloped edge is. Like, I would buy this if I found a little cloche, because how cute would this be to do a little cloche on top of it and just use it for decor? And then I have a lot of bowls. So if you want a bunch of bougie cereal bowls, these are $6.95 for these cereal bowls. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Bowls. That's I a good never set. find that many. I don't know that those would work for cereal bowls because they've got the little dip. Like you, it's just too wide. Maybe if you, you know, just put a little bit, maybe oatmeal. Oh, you could put oatmeal or for oatmeal. cream of wheat would perfect work well with oatmeal. these. But I got this entire set for $50, which I thought was a really good deal. Um, it'll take me a minute to sell all these pieces, but they will find good homes and people will get really good deals. I bet you I that butter dish and this server or whatever. The yeah. Bavarian server. Yeah, I bet those, those go quick. This is the most dainty, beautiful little teacup. So this is from Czechoslovakia. Back when it was Czechoslovakia, it's hand painted, and I think it was a dollar. And I'm selling for seven ninety five. Look at that! One. I didn't know that was hand painted. Yeah, look at that. That's definitely hand painted. You can yeah. see like the raised detail on it, and then it's got like this little. Yeah, it was a dollar. Um, it's got this little detail in the back, and I love the little handle. You know, Debbie always says you have to have four fingers. This is like a pinky. Can you even get a pinky in there? I can. See, I can put one finger. <clears throat> Honestly, I would. I wouldn't even put it. Let me show you how I would use it. I would probably just grab it like. Like that. Yeah. That's really I cute. would not try to put fingers. Cynthia in there. said that's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? I love just pretty dishes. They're they're my favorite. I have my grandma's dishes, but if I didn't have my grandma's dishes. I would have all these dishes <laughs> you here. You'd be tempted to keep this set. I know. So I know. <laughs> I keep buying all these dishes because I have full intent on putting them in the cottage. So that way people can come to our Airbnb and have fancy dishes. Okay. Let's keep going with our. our all right. So this is stacking. Anchor Hawking. It's got a tiny little chip. I tried to take a picture of it, but mm -hmm. it's milk glass and I don't mm -hmm. know that it took a picture. Someone said that this reminded them of like a spam can. Not going to. Not going to oppose that at all because I'm right there with you. Because <laughs> <Spam. laughs> <laughs> it's kind of squarish. 
um, but it's ribbed on both sides and then it's got like a little ribbed edge. It won't really pick up on camera. It's so hard to show, but just know it's got quite a bit of fun detail. Honestly, I'm thinking succulents in this. It's a refrigerator dish. I'm thinking succulents in this. You can do what you want with it. You can put succulents. <laughs> do you got a lid to go on that for nope. the refrigerator? Nope. See? Just like that. Succulents. Um, it was a dollar fifty. Or you can put it's ketchup be packets in it. Five ninety five. Um, this is just a solo candlestick. We always scoop these up. I'm gonna start painting a lot of them white. I think. We've been selling so many white candlesticks yeah. in the shop. And I don't know, I don't know what it is. Sometimes for a while I couldn't sell anything unless it was like super layered, but now people are coming in and they want the white candlesticks. So mm. we need to paint a bunch white so that way we have a good selection. Cause even if they don't match, if they're all the same color, you just put the mix match set together and people will buy them. This is very detailed. Um, it was a dollar fifty. We're gonna paint it up, it'll be nineteen ninety five. And then, I love the dishes and Emma got her craft kit and loves it. Mm -hmm. um, we are still going to mail out more crafts kits. We are waiting on more aprons and um, towels. So if you haven't like got tracking that yours has shipped yet, it's just because we sold, we, we sold more than we planned on because they were so popular. We just felt like we, just we kept it to do open it. longer and we had to reorder yeah. supplies. So, so we, we oversold by almost 80 kits. So we have most of the supplies. We're just waiting for some aprons and towels to come in. All right. Just little glass tapers. We have three or four of these in the shop now, um, but when we group them together, they always sell really well. I actually well. really like this one. So this one of them cool. is glass candlestick, and one's glass candlestick taper or something because I didn't know how to differentiate between them. But I think this is they were the both a dollar. One. They're both be five ninety five. That one looks like a water, it like looks, a fountain to me. Yeah, or like um, I don't know, like two cake trays sitting on top of each other. It's like scalloped. I love glassware. We sell a ton of plain glass in our glass display. All right. These are, I can't say that. What? Made in Turkey. They're Turkish. Um, Passive. Oh, yeah, that's all. P-E-C-S-E-B-C-H-C-E. -E. I think it's P-A-S-A-B-A-H-C-E. It's Turkish. These are hurricane style um stem bases this one has a tulip on it this one's etched. and it's embossed can you guys see the embossing They're i love etched. anything oh etched. i think i what did i say that it was i did put etched all right um <laughs> this one is a tulip, and this one has daisies and they still have like the original sticker from turkey on there and there's definitely an older sticker so these are definitely vintage they were dollar 50 each and we're selling them for 14.95 each they're really pretty Okay, we got this little stack here. Why don't you show them? These are just old. Was this craft kit? That tree? I think it was a craft kit, and uh, this was I the original was a... cutout for a craft kit, like the, <laughs> the original the template that I took a picture of and then programmed in to the computer. So this one is fourteen ninety five, and that the, one's they've both been used in our kitchen. <laughs> They're authentic. So they've got some cut marks on them. Um, they're going to be, yeah, $14.95 for the Christmas tree and $19.95. Yeah, they're really fun. As the holidays approach, if you guys are resellers, do not underestimate the power of a good cookbook in good condition. I originally bought some of these because Harrington was asking me for a bunch of recipes and I bought them at a yard sale. So I think I spent, I cannot read what that says. I spent $5 on this and it's basically in new condition. This is America's Test Kitchen. It's got a lot of really good recipes on it. It's the heavy duty edition. $13.95. $13.95. And I the paid. pages are slick like a gloss paper. So, so like if you them spill on them, they won't immediately They've got go tabs back. on them. So if you're looking for like a specific thing, this is a really good one. I actually have a Taste of Home cookbook that if Harrington doesn't come pick it up soon, I'm going to put it in a thrift It's box. got a three ring binder so you can add your own notes. That's five rings. Five ring. Yeah, you're right. I always amend recipes these days like i'll be like yeah that's that's neat that you did it like that but i'm gonna try it like this <laughs> vicky says my problem with cookbooks is i keep them i do too but like i can't keep all the cookbooks um this one is called back in the day bakery cookbook cheryl day and griff day zeb thinks it's the hilarious picture, it's hard back the picture on the front of this like he's probably a really good cook but she's done up all cute like in period clothing and he's standing here in shorts and like probably skate shoes and a button-up t-shirt that goes all the way up to his neck and i don't want to i don't want to knock the guy but she way outdid him she's adorable and i also love their display on the back that's got like oh, all Sammy this got stuff. the butter dish too yay anyway it's a great cookbook so how much is that one 
This one is nine ninety five. Nine ninety five, and then America's Text Kitchen one is thirteen ninety five. Yeah. Oh no, that one was sixteen ninety five. You put this on the wrong one. I don't think so. Um, I am not. I am like ninety nine percent sure. Why don't you? Why don't you triple check that? Why don't I triple check it? Okay. I'm waiting for I can't to drop triple stamp a double stamp. No, for sure. I think you put the stickers on the wrong one. We'll see. We'll see. I bet you a foot rub. No. Yep. No. You said no. You're no not betting. betting him. No. Okay. Well, that one's sixteen ninety five, and this one's nine ninety five. This is Pioneer Recipes and Remedies enriched with poetry. I would, and I actually don't it remember. It's way too late in the day, and I spent way too much time in the sun this week to rub uh, my feet. To no, not that. To, to be making, making bets. bets, yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, this is really cute, and it's got like a pioneers. We just celebrated Pioneer Day, but it's got like pioneer picture in it. Um. It's published by the Daughters of Utah Pioneers, and this one's nine ninety five. So, all right, let's keep going. Ooh, there's some good recipes in there. Is Harrington Nursing School yet? Yeah, nope. Um, I think he starts the fall. He said he keeps telling me that he's like registered and he can do it up to a certain date. School doesn't start until this time or that time. And I'm like, buddy, we will. I, it we're like yet. coming up on the point where I'm going to allocate funds to other things because I have to. And you're going to miss out on getting help from dad for school. Um, just mostly just because he's waiting too long. So I don't know. He's supposed to start this fall. I, I got, I'm oh, in the middle of it. Odelia is registered and we paid for her fall semester. She's going to be working um, and trying to transition from high school slash I did cheer and haven't actually had a real job other than working for mom and dad to good, paying all of her own bills this, this first semester. That's the goal. I'm like, listen, you can live here. That's great. But I want you to start taking over your cell phone bill and your car insurance and paying for your own fuel. And we'll see how that goes. She'll do great. Okay. Um, I purchased this uh, in England last fall. I washed it and it's been sitting in my laundry room, just sitting there waiting for me to do something with it. So I am now selling it. I originally bought it because I like to buy soft goods to help pack my things in. It's a very delicately knitted blanket. It's not perfect. It has like a little tiny like snag right here, but it's hand knitted and it is just, it almost looks like lace. It's beautiful. It's just so pretty. It'd be really pretty like on the back of like a, a chair or whatever. Um, and it's $29.95 for this one. And I brought it home from England and washed it up. I'm just glad that it's not going to be sitting in my laundry room waiting for me to do something. This I don't know about you guys, but I have had this huge bug to like get organized and on top of things. It's like she's nesting, but there's no baby coming. Oh, it thanks. really literally feels like that. Thank you. I've lived through that. I might five, look like there's a baby coming, but they ain't. I've a baby lived coming. through that situation five times now, and mm. I feel like I'm. We're starting on a sixth time, but I don't know what's coming on the horizon that's causing this. I don't know, but I got to get organized. Like I can't handle. And there, there, the thing is, like I'm so disorganized in so many ways that this could go on for months before my house actually gets to like a normal human house. Like. I'm just kind of a messy person. Like just like directly underneath us is the messiest cabinet in the world. Like it's so bad. It's because nothing fits together. Yeah. And nothing because stacks. No... It's all the pots and pans that don't there's, stack. Yeah. Anyways, that's another story. Let's let's show them this. This was a dollar fifty. It's a fun, it's got two hanging hooks. It's all metal. Buttercup's having a baby. Butter. I'm nesting because my cow is having a baby. So I'm gonna <sighs> Vicky, I love you. For a so second much. there, I was like, what, did Angie call? And she's like, having it right now? <laughs> no, Buttercup's that. having a baby and I'm nesting. Gotcha. All right. This It's like a little towel rack and it holds a bunch of fun stuff. That's the toilet paper, but it's not. I think it'd be great in a bathroom just to hold like accessories and things and like your hand towel next to the sink. Yeah, or you could do like soaps. It's going to or... be sixteen ninety five. not painting it. It's ready be to go. Cute if you like, if you weren't afraid of like screwing it into your shower, because you could put your washcloth with your shampoo, your conditioner. It's fighting words, <laughs> screwing stuff into tile <laughs> or, I I or plastic want. backsplash. Okay, we have some fun stuff here. This right. is a grab bag. Grab quickly, because I don't remember what A, B, and C are. We'll find out in a moment because the pictures will match. We'll get them right because they have certain lace That's in them. C. This one is a. I had them in just bags from the thrift store, 
And then I put them in these and threw the bags away, but didn't bother to write which ones were which. Look, so each is twenty two ninety five, and it's it's all like vintage lace that's been pulled off of like furniture, old dresses, cupboards, hand, uh, hand tablecloths, curtains, things like that. Fringe. It's, it's very lacy, and it's all scraps. Um, there's like one. This one's I don't know. There's this some like new a... old stock in this one here. Uh, that has a new thing of lace on there, but it's also old. I some would of sell... it is some of it is a little stained, some of it's a little ripped, but you know, for twenty two ninety five, I think like there's all a this lot in each bag. I would sell each of them for six to seven dollars per item for as old and cool as they are. So I feel like twenty two ninety five for an entire bag, you can't go wrong. We have A, B, and C. I don't think it really matters, you know. This one looks poofier, but it's only because it's got this big one in here. So probably if these don't sell online, I'm going to wrap them up each individually and then tie them with twine, like to keep the bundle together mm -hmm. so people can like feel it and touch it. It does really well that way. This is also really fun. This, I, this is called Jamie Got Lazy. And it's like, there's no way I'm going to measure all this stuff. There's and a individually ton of linens in it. here and we're talking like custom embroidered napkins um some of it's like i look said stained this. some of it's torn um a little tatted edge on like that. look at look at so this cute they're so, 395 each they're luck of the draw so you know how we have the hardware the vintage hardware you just get whatever we send you for 295 this is 395 each none and you're are gonna bad get... you're gonna all get good stuff no they're all cute get. i actually really love this like little scarf did you oh, count how many actually that's there? not that one i did not count i love it but it's that's not good the rest of them are all really good. I like this purple one. Look how cute this well, one it's is. It's got a little tear in it. Yeah, that one's that's no bueno. Look how cute that is. So we, I made them three ninety five each, and they're luck of the draw. And at the shop, I'll just put them like in look like, like in a little basket like this, and then we'll put a little tag that says three ninety five each because people love to dig through stuff. We sell so much hardware and Bible pages and little things like this that we price relatively inexpensively because people like to, to dig through it. It's fun for them. So look how cute that is. In, in case basket. you're new, we found a Bible at Kobe Swap oh, from yeah. the 1800s that was each page was like the binding was gone. It was falling apart. So instead of like trying to rescue that and make it something that it wasn't ever going to be we decided to sell the pages individually people buy them? a lot of people have been buying like their favorite verse or whatever if they can find it they're looking for stuff like that it's been fun well, this was a scalloped edge i'm excited to go through it look at that and some of them you'll need to like do something else with because they're tattered yeah but they're or like, they got stains that probably aren't they're coming out perfect for crafting Someone gave us this. I don't know where it came from. Marnie says, look at the gorgeous linens. Yeah, I didn't buy them. And these were in my garage sitting in a bag for at least a year because I was not in the mood to sit and individually list little tiny pieces of linen. And so sometimes I just got to be like, all right, rip it off like a Band-Aid. Let's get it listed because people love it. We had so many comments in the video. People wanting to buy this. So hopefully it sells. Well, if you sew or do any kind of like crafting or like... Even scrapbooking, like it's if, amazing. If it doesn't sell and I have to list it individually, I'm going to charge more money. So hopefully it sells. Look at all these Reader's Digests I found. Three bucks. This one, the this one's got. A, oh, we're going to fix this. I'm one. going to fix the binding on there. I'm going to at least. We paid three dollars each for these, and we're selling for nine ninety five. And I listed them by color. So like this one is blue and green, orange, yellow, blue. This is like brown and rose colored. Um, again, look, these are great for fall too. Some of these colors, they're actually, I think all of these colors are very good fall tones. Well, the seventies and eighties were a good time for Reader's Digest and that's what they got. I didn't got. list the titles though. So if you're buying these for the book value, then you can email info at jamierevintage.com and, we'll and I'll let you know what the book title is because I just buy these because they're pretty. I read these every summer at my grandma's house when we I go have down my and visit her. Um, I Reader's would, Digest book There was still. one story. I can't remember. I always look for it. I can't remember what it was called. And so I'm like, I just remember the basis of the story. So every time we're in the thrift store, I'm looking through trying to find that right one. Um, it was about, they, they bought uh, they bought like an island. The, the family oh, bought an island. They were a younger couple and they sold everything and they were going to make like a camp retreat out of the Let's island. Let's do those first. 
And um, it was like their struggle getting back. Like a it was, little sheepy. I want to say it was up in Canada that they bought the island. Anyway, the short story was awesome. I read it every time I went to grandma's. This is the prettiest vintage cake plate. So it like has a sunflower in the middle. And then it's got these bubbles, which I love. You guys know I'm a sucker for scallops. It's got little tiny feet on the bottom. It's just pretty. You could use it for a myriad of things. I actually think it would be pretty to put some candles on here and make a little vignette, but it's a pretty little cake plate. It was $1.50, and I'm selling it for $19.95. Holy smokes. I got to paint that thing. I said I was going to paint it. What thing? With milk paint. Oh, I'm like, you're not painting my cake plate. All right, I'll keep showing the stuff while you We paint. only have like four frames left. You have 10 minutes. So, all right, next up, candy dish, pedestal. I never find this kind of milk glass at my thrift store. So super excited. It was $3. I'm selling for $19.95. Again, beautiful scalloped edge, scallop base. All my favorite things. Give me all the scallops. Another scalloped little milk glass bowl. This one was Anchor Hawking. It was a dollar, and I'm selling it for $5.95. This is perfect to, like, put your change or in your bathroom to put, like, your rings and jewelry in. Really pretty little bowl. This is actually just a sheep that broke at the shop, and we're going to repaint it. Probably not today. Um, so we're going to, like Zeb epoxied it, so it's legit. Um, and then we're going to give it a new paint job, and it was $7.95. Because I actually um, was like, I broke that. I was like, it's fine. If you break it, we'll epoxy it together and repaint it and give it new life. All right, so I was looking for flower sack, but we've just got Sweetie Jane here, so that's what you're going to get. I love Sweetie Jane. Oh, yeah, I got to show them frames. And then we're done. Okay. Oh, no. I think a lot of these have sold. So what I'm most excited about is the one on the bottom, because Zeb and I have been buying a lot of artwork, and we scored big time. First up, not painting these, just putting artwork in them, because the paint finish is really pretty. I do want to try to replicate this paint finish, so we need to get a good picture of it up close. So oh, we can okay. do a video on it because I had somebody ask me to replicate this paint finish. It's like a green verdigris with this rusty red and gold and dark wax. They're $1.50 each, and we sold them for $19.95, and we will put art in them. Next up, we have this really cool frame. It's a double mat. We're just going to remove the photo of the little girl while she is cute. I have no idea who she is. Um, this one's $4, and we're selling it for $49.95. I like the frame, so we're going to leave it as, as is. We're just going to replace the art in the middle. These are, the frames are good this week. Zeb, isn't this like a go back? Like you bought this in the McCoy picture last minute. Like you took something back or you went with me to get my dishes. Yeah. Well, you were taking a long this. time to get your dishes and I walked back there. It, they were a lot of dishes. I had to wrap all those floral rose dishes. I had to wrap all the pieces. So this guy is Aaron Jones. He has a website. He's an artist um, in Santa Quin, Utah. And his artwork sells anywhere from $500 to $700 minimum. Some of it is way more. And we found this original oil painting, Diamond Fork. It's a 9 by 12 oil. He paints like um, scenes that are actually here in Utah. Yeah, and it's signed Aaron Jones. And on the back, it says Diamond Fork, 9 by 12 oil. Thanks, Irene, Aaron Jones. So I'm guessing this is either custom work or a gift for somebody. And it's framed and matted. It was $3. Three. I told you, these sell anywhere for five to $700. And even if this wasn't somebody that I could find, I never pass up oil paintings if they're even halfway decent because they're always worth money. Um, and we're selling this one for $149.95. So we've been doing really well. We had those um, floral, the acrylic florals, and that sold for $69.95, but this one's even better. It's a really cool landscape. So, and it's perfect for fall. The colors are really good. So look good in the shop. I could not find a cup or a bowl. So this is the wild, wild west of milk paint mixing on a plate. I've added some extra bond and some water and uh, some milk paint powder. And this is Sweetie Jane is the color. We'll see what we get. I'm just gonna keep mixing here for a sec and then I'm gonna put some paint on here in a big hurry and it'll be awesome. So and she's using Sweetie Jane, but don't forget that flower sack, milk paint. I looked for flower sack. I yeah, we don't have it. any Snow White farmhouse finishes paint. It's 35% off with no code needed on the website. So if you need white chippy milk paint, we've got that. 
since I'm not able to blend this, this might have some fun, chunky texture. And Ivy just dropped the link for the Sweetie Jane. Typically, you want to put um, bond in it. Do you put some bond if you're painting on it. metal because it will chip off? Oil painting and similar types are a hot commodity. They sure are. Well, um, it's getting very popular to, to put art. art back in your home. Yes. So. Signs with words on them, depending on how they are, are headed out. And fine art is headed back in. And if you can find it like $3 for a painting that's worth anywhere from $500 to $700, like I can look him up. I included the website in the description. And then I'm selling it for $149.95. So whoever buys it is still getting a tremendous deal for a beautiful piece of art. So it's fun right. for that's me. That's a little chunky, but it's things. gonna be good enough because I'm gonna go with the, I'm gonna distress it anyway. Thomas says, can you talk about the ceiling tiles I bought? What do you want to know? I painted them. They're painted Americana with a white dry brush. And if you want to watch it, it's in the video that went up on Friday. And the set of four is all painted to match. And it should be shipping out to you probably next week. Because I just finished them the end of last week. Um, Kai says, yes, and art in the kitchen is a big touch for sure. A lot of like um, designers and decorators are using art in their in their home. So I'm actually like, oh, I need to get a few pieces and put them in now. We have like, a few pieces. We got your sheep hanging over there. I do have my sheep. But I have a few frames that are empty that I need to find stuff for. This is going to take two coats, and I'm not going to heat them this because every time I heat gun on camera in a live stream, the milk paint just crackles and chips like crazy because it's like, ooh, heat. Um, we Marnie just said kudos to the lovely soul who is dropping links. That is Ivy. Ivy's dropping links. Um, and she's doing a really good job. Ivy is actually our shipping manager, our receiving manager. She does scheduling. Um, she's amazing. And she does a lot of shipping. She makes sure that like we have two full-time employees that ship, but Ivy stays I'm also on top pretty of sure her and Caitlin are like best friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> Caitlin and Ivy do so much behind the scenes. They're to make thick sure, as thieves. We'll say that. Yeah. They make sure everything runs properly. Ivy makes sure we have packing peanuts and tape and all the little things that we need to get all of these things safely who you guys there are things that happen between ivy and caitlin that like they just take a side uh, side road around jamie and i and i never even know about it Listen. and then i'm like hey who did this that's awesome i oh, mean katie ivy and caitlin got together and they they, they made it happen without us <laughs> I, I love that's gonna look good once it chips off it needs a, the thing is you can't heat gun it because it'll all chip off when does the milk paint sale end? So there's a color of the month every month. The flower sack paint and the snow white paint that's on sale, the milk paint, ends the end of um, July. And there'll be a new color that comes out. We don't know in advance. I have no clue. Uh, but there's usually one color every month. And then when we find out from manufacturers. It's something they just started that. doing this summer. So we don't know how long it's going to go. It's from the manufacturer for uh, Sweet Pickens milk paint. Shasta said, your daughter was so sweet when I came into the shop the other day. She's amazing at customer service. Was it Odilia or Eliza? They're both pretty good. Eliza is like super assertive and organized. And Odilia is like chill and laid back. But they're both, they love people. And they're really good at work, like working in the shop. They both do a really good job. All right, guys. I I think we're... You can kind of get the gist. This is yeah, going to come back. You can't back. be because... I'm going to chippy it up. I'm going to put another coat on once it dries. Um, and then we'll, we'll get the chippy goodness and we'll seal it with something and it'll be good to go. All right. I'm just making sure we'll that bring some of that white the, back. The questions are answered. So we're good there. Um, and Ivy says she loves working on them both. All right, guys, if you need paint products, any of the items that we're showing you and like canning supplies, <laughs> any lay parfait French canning jars, those are all available at jamierayvintage.com. If you have questions, feel free to email us info at jamierayvintage.com. Make sure you're spelling Jamie, J-A-M-I. We're happy to help you out um, if you've got furniture project questions, whatever, or if you just have questions on the items we're selling. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Also, since Caitlin's gone, we forgot to pick winners. So we will, we will make sure to get the two winners from this week for sharing on Facebook. We will probably just announce them on Wednesday. I'm gonna actually message Caitlin so we don't forget because she's been helping us stay on top of that. All right, Bye, guys. guys. We'll catch Have you later next week. Watch for videos. They're More coming. More videos.